retail sales came out this morning and they were much better than expected. However, the market isn't responding. I'm here with Ben Willis from Albert Freed. So Ben, you know, we were talking about this and while the numbers were generally good, they were in very specific areas like building materials, which is obviously Sandy related and uh, gasoline. Well, the price of gasoline, so you get the de facto move. So the, the while there may have been less money in the in the paychecks, it, the money still had to go to to buy gasoline. It's one of those necessities, and the decision was made by those. The sales were down in other key areas like furniture and the like. So the the people that are st in their homes are not adding to their furniture lines right now. I can just tell you anecdotally, however, if you base retail sales on traffic in Paramus, New Jersey on a Saturday afternoon, I had no doubt they were going to be much higher than anticipated because there's traffic on Route 17, Route 4 corridor, which is the shopping capital center of the world. It's been horrible. It's worse than it was during Christmas season. So this, these numbers actually didn't surprise me. Right. Well, we did see that um, apparel was uh, pretty good. So that was kind of interesting to see that. Um, so I guess let's uh, take that away then. Uh, if the payroll tax did not affect people's spending habits, that's got to say that this economy is somewhat stronger. It is. And that, that the whole point of no, if, no matter how you dissect these numbers up 1.1 percent, but if you take out gasoline, you take out this or seasonal adjustments, there are some websites that are telling you that the ads are actually much worse. The fact of the matter is the market reacted that once again to the idea that the glass is half full. And that's the, that's the direction the market reacted early this morning. We were down prior to the, the release of these numbers, and the futures rallied. We've since come off. Again, hopefully this is one of those places where the market gets a chance to reset, but the buy-the-dip mentality has paid off like it did yesterday. We had a little bit of a sell-off, but we still managed to eke out a plus-side move on the Dow. So it's been a tough market for professionals looking for that pullback, even in anticipation of the, the global economy glass half full, but we just haven't gotten it. All right, so what are you doing? Are you waiting for that dip or are you staying on the sidelines? Because I know you've been thinking we would get some kind of correction here. Well, I, I wouldn't recommend selling anything. Uh, there's some, if you're an aggressive seller, there are people looking to short into the market, especially if, if we get anywhere near the S&P highs once again. I don't know if that's a position I would take right now. I'd like to see a little bit more softening. Uh, it's been a tough trade if you, if you follow that way. I wouldn't get out of any long positions. I just wouldn't start any new long positions unless we're buying protection to the downside. All right, so there you have it from Ben. Some very good advice on what to do with this market. It is a hard market to call. It's kind of going all over the place and defying uh, logical conclusions. That's Ben Willis from Albert Freed, and I'm Deborah Borchart with The Street.